Welcome to my channel Oracle Cloud Tax In this video I will talk about the journey from setup of regime to read Maybe someone ask how about tax rules tax advanced rules It will be in the next video So I will make two videos first one will be from regime to read second one will be for like for example char uh, reverse charging mechanism tax rules advanced tax rules and a lot of like these things so what will be agenda in this video we will talk about tax regime taxes tax jurisdiction tax status and tax rate second video or the video number two or part two or whatever we will talk about tax rules reverse charging mechanism advanced tax rules and a lot of advanced configuration of tax it will be in part two so let's start to talk about setup from tax regime until tax rate tax rate included recovery and the non recovery and tax status and the jurisdiction let's go to application first of all to set up tax there is one specific rule tax administrator must assign to your user to allow you to make a setup either regime rate tax uh, recovery rate tax rules whatever so first of all you have to assign this rule to your user then you can go to select financials and start for example write only tax we will start by manage tax regime What I will do, I will show you the option. We will talk about the options. Then I will show you one as a current setup, how we implement it. For example, as a tax, re tax regime here, you have to, because you are going to create a new one, you have to select plus as a create, or if you already defined a new one or searching for any existing tax regime, you have to set to search either by country tax regime code name effective as of date blah 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 so i will try to create a new one as you see here we will start by tax code name le regime level country blah 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 set up tax regime in each country and the geographic region where you do your business and where a separate tax applies Tax regime associates a common set of default information, regulations, physical classification, and optionally registrations to one or more taxes. So for tax regime here, what is the tax regime could well be you will define for your tax regime. And what is the name? Because in the next step like set up tax you will assign this tax regime to the tax and when you go to tax status you will assign also regime and and the tax jurisdiction the same so the name as your discussion with your business or stakeholders what is the name will be so it will be as a one time I think you cannot rechange it once you saved and start to use your tax so in that case again you have to disable this tax regime to again to define a new one with a new name so what is the the name and code what is the regime level destinated is this for country or tax zone the common tax regime setup is one tax regime per country per tax type However, you can also have tax regimes 
based on parts of a country or more than one country. So the regime level in country, the tax regime is applicable to a specific country. Now my country, for example, Egypt. So I will set up or implement my tax regime for my only country, Egypt. Tax zone, tax regime is applicable to parts of a country or multiple countries. So here, you, uh, once you set up as a tax zone, so here, what is the geography type and the tax geography name associated with the group? If you set up or select the country, so you have to select which country. For example, here country, which country you are going to implement this tax energy. Again, if you have a parent, for example, if you designate the tax regime as a parent regime or in indicate the parent regime name, if the tax regime belong to a parent regime, you have to use a tax regime defined as a parent tax regime to group other non-parent tax regime for reporting purposes. What about the start date of using this uh, tax regime and the end date? And again, this is as used to group regimes. Take care of the of start date. Any dates in any setup, either tax, suppliers, customers, payment method, whatever. Take care of start date because depends on this start date of tax, the system will start to calculate the tax. For example, if you put here 1st of January 2024, so starting of calculated tax will be from this date whatever the transaction before this date the tax will not work go to we will go to the second part as a controls and defaults what is the tax currency the default currency to tax within this tax regime what about minimum accountable unit the minimum unit of currency that is reported to, to the tax authority. For example, 50 cent indicates that 5 pence is the minimum unit. So for example, if I bought 0.01, so this is the minimal unit of currency, of my currency, either GBP, USD, whatever. Tax. Precision, as you know, that this is one digit whole number to indicate the decimal place for tax rounding. As you see here, for example, you can put blah blah blah, whatever. This is also depends on your requirement and your decisions. What about tax inclusion method? Tax inclusion method that describes whether the line amount includes tax or exclude tax. As you see here, we have three options. For the tax inclusions, in general, you will calculate tax on transactions inclusive of the line amount is generally a business decision. This decision is based on the relations between the transacting parties and the item or taxes involved. Taxes applicable on a transaction are made inclusive of the item line amount either manually or automatically manual means in the manual approach you access the calculated tax lines on transaction and select the inclusive option this action includes the calculated tax amount with the item value however this option is controlled through two factors as a privilege are assigned to the users for accessing and editing calculated tax line or setup restrictions are applied to edit the inclusive options on the calculated tax lines. For the, the other approach as automatic, you can configure the tax setup and calculate tax on the transaction as inclusive of the item line amount since the tax legalization and the business relationship between transacting parties primarily derive this requirement. The option of configuration the inclusive is made available on the tax and tax rate definitions and third party and the legal reporting unit tax profiles. Again, as you see here, we have three options as a standard inclusive handling. 
this option calculates this tax as inclusive of the given transaction line amount. Standard inclusive. Special inclusive handling. This option calculates the tax as inclusive of the given transaction line amount, but the calculation methodology differs from the standard inclusive process. What about the standard non-inclusive? This option calculates the tax as exclusive of the given transaction line amount. Again, this is depends on the requirement or whatever. What about conversion rate? This is all of us we know that the specific conversion rate that is used to convert one currency into another, either a spot, either a user or corporate. What about rounding rule? The rule that defines how rounding is performed on a value, for example, up to the next highest value, down to the next lower value or nearest, either down, nearest, up, this is also up to you. So the rounding rule of the amount, it will be as a down or up or nearest. Allow tax rounding override. Allow the override of the rounding defined of the tax registration records. Are you going to allow this or not? I, I think once you defined or enabled the rounding, which is nearest or down or up, you will also allow the tax rounding to override if the users maybe change the amount or make any change for the invoice or the transaction. Reporting tax authority, the default tax authority to whom the tax reports are sent. Maybe you defined a uh, supplier as an authority, blah, 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 so you can define and select it here. Collecting also the default tax authority to whom the tax is remitted. Rounding conversion option, again, the default rounding conversion option to use for tax in the tax regime. You have to select either both or functional currency or tax currency. Control if unrounded amount in the entered currency is used for tax conversion calculation to the ledger currency or of internal transaction amount field, which is stores the tax amount in, in ledger currency. Use legal registration number option that controls whether the tax registration number is the same as the legal registration number of the party or not. General control region allow override and the entry of inclusive tax lines options that control the whether you can override and the enter inclusive or exclusive line amount because here once you enable the inclusive or whatever here you also allow the user to override and the entry either inclusive or exclusive use tax reporting configuration options that control the whether the tax reporting details are available on the first party tax registration record for this tax regime Control whether you can enter tax reporting configuration details on the tax registration for this tax regime for your first parties. Because later we will know that we can define our tax for only reporting purposes without any calculating amount on the transactions. For example, if you using only setup tax as a reporting, what does it mean that when the users make any transactions in the payable, receivable, GL, whatever, this amount will not be affected by the tax, it's just for reporting purposes. General controls as a low override and the entry, this is done. What about registration as number control and default? What is the validation type? I think this is for registration number and the control and the defaults if you have some specific validations for the registration number controls and the default. And also here 
are you going to enable the duplicate validation level for all party for example i have uh, registration number for suppliers and this registration number will be duplicate so from here you can enable that this will be duplicate validation level will be at the customers no validations as a suppliers third party blah 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 here it will for the validation it will give you error none warning because in some cases maybe we have a group as a company and under this group we have for example two or three suppliers and these two or three suppliers using the, sh the same registration number so if you enter or register these you uh, suppliers in oracle payable the system will you will enter the registration number so the validation for the system which validation it will be it will be give error none warning or it will be null here also at which for example in my case i will select suppliers i will select none or warning or i will keep it null so this allows to make a duplicate registration number without any error message or warning message compounding level controls allow cross regime compounding that controls whether cross regime compounding is needed for this tax regime control whether this tax regime is compounded based on the tax calculated from another tax regime or not compounding precedence that define the order in which the tax within the compound tax regime need to be calculated a tax within a tax regime with a lower value is calculated first so here you just can control the order in which tax with tax regime are calculated if you are going to make a, 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 a regime compounding across a, a lot of regime configuration options and service subscription Just set up configuration option to associate tax regime with the parties in your company that have a tax requirement under this tax regime. You can set up tax configurations options when you create a tax regime or when you create a party tax profile for a first party legal entity or business unit. Again, tax regime and the party tax profile setup flows appear and they maintain the same party and tax regime association. Configuration options only apply to tax regime directly linked to taxes and denote to the tax regime that are used to group other tax regimes. A service subscriptions is used to reference a specific transaction tax offering or offering providing by an external tax partner. Transaction tax offering provided by external tax partner can be related to content calculation services or both. Oracle Vision tax supports the use of transaction tax offering providing by external tax partner for transaction tax calculation processing. So if we start here to define tax configurations and service subscriptions, again use tax configuration setup, define the directory into Oracle Vision tax using external tax partner contact uploaded for use with Oracle Vision tax. Tax configuration owner, as you see, that is a business unit, legal entity. Here it will be business unit, legal entity, or global configuration owner that owns the debt. The global configuration owner is an abstract owner. It's used to define the owner of content that can be shared by any business units and first party legal entities. Identify specific first party legal entities as a parent first party organization. This allows the configuration to be owned by specific first party and shared by other parties. Here, either you select a operating unit or legal entity that it's also up to you or up to the requirement of your organizations. I'm going to set up if I have 
a lot of business units so I will separate the setup for each oper operating unit or business unit so I will select here business unit 1 business and the second line business unit 2 business unit 3 or I will select it as a legal entity so again you have to select party name either business unit or legal entity for configuration of tax and tax rules we have a lot of options here configuration owner or common configurations for tax processing the tax determination process uses a shared tax context or content defined and maintained by global configuration owner. what about party specific configurations the specified first party organization defined and maintains its own tax content for tax processing, tax determining process, use only the tax content owned by the specific first party legal entity or business unit. For about parent first party organization with party override, this option is similar to the common configuration with party override subscriptions with one difference the tax content here is owned by specific first party legal entity instead of the global configuration owner. you can override the specific first party set what about a party specific configurations this is beside first party organization defines and maintains its own tax content for tax processing tax determination process use only the tax content owned by specific first party legal entity or business unit what about configurations product exceptions we have again common configurations for tax processing the tax determination process uses tax exceptions defined and maintained by global configuration party specific the specific specified first party organization defined and maintains its own tax exceptions common configuration with party override for tax processing the tax determination process use tax exceptions defined and maintained by the global configuration owner so here either you have to select a party specific configuration or party per, pa parent first party organization with party override or a common for configurations so the tax content defined and maintained by the global configuration owner what is the effective start date it must be matched with this start date and effective end date if you are going to disable or whatever uh, this business unit or this is a legal entity you just came here and make edit and make end effective date now if i show you one example of the current setup of regime this is my example here name code what is the name what is the country start date there is no used to group regime what is the control currency minimal tax precision after to precision or whatever conversion rate rounding here there is no inclusive because he is using standard non-inclusive handling allow tax rounding no what is the reporting tax authority and collecting both federal tax as fta or whatever there is no option here here allow to override and the entry of inclusive yes because he not he selected here not it must be not allowed because there is no yes inclusive so here non-inclusive what about validation so there is no validation so what it does it mean that if you define the two customers the suppliers with the same registration number the system will n will not make any validations will not give you any error any warning blah 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 allow cross there is no any a group of regime only one regime compounding because no group so no order of regime associate tax setup allow multiple jurisdiction yes allow tax recovery allow tax exceptions and exemptions this if you are going to make exceptions and exemptions and we will also talk about this in the second part you have to allow it here 
allow multiple jurisdictions is that if you are going to set up allow or define a lot of jurisdictions and assign it to regime it also allow tax recovery because for the tax we have tax rate recovery and the non recovery so are you going to allow tax recovery or not if you open configuration options as i told you here he work on business unit this is business unit what is the part type as a first party legal entity or a legal entity sorry so first party legal entity what is the country here common configuration with party override as we said that this is a common for configuration for all parties and here common configuration what is the start date if you if you notice here the start date 1 1 2018 and here 1 1 2018 if here 19 that one will be 19 and all of them is enabled again you can make edit and you can enable disable whatever but some of them you cannot change for example uh, I think here you cannot remove this by only disabled and the boot end as effective end date let me try to edit as you see here the code خلاص done only regime name what else allow tax and this is all is dimmed here also you have option only no there is no delete you have to only enter effective end date so this is tax regime let's go to enter the tax setup i will cancel yes done and manage taxes again if you define you can define or not you will make create a new one here what is the tax regime code whatever you define there as i told you this tax regime will be in all of the previous steps tax tax the jurisdiction blah 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 what is the configuration owner if you select their global or whatever you can also come here to select global what is the tax and tax name what is the tax type the tax type as you know that it will be sales tax it will be goods it will be whatever it will be null sales tax input tax whatever you have to select it but it's not required as you know asterisk is required no asterisk is optional what is the start date it must be matching with the tax regime date it cannot be before the tax regime tax regime for example uh, 1st of January 20, 2018 here the same date will be there end date again you can uh, inactivate the create tax and the again can create a new tax but whatever the relevant setup you have also again to disable all of the next setups for jurisdiction status blah 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 which is related to this tax and again create a new one and create a new tax status jurisdiction rate recovery rate blah 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 enable tax for simulation control whether this tax available for computation within the tax simulator functionality or not if selected this tax is available for calculation in the tax simulator when the evaluate tax is enabled for simulation simulation means what once you defined or complete your setup of your tax are you going to as a test the result or ta test your implementation or not this is a tax simulation you have to go to tax simulation and check the setup of your tax to create a random or a dummy transactions and check your rate recovery rate non recovery rate and check the result is okay خلاص, you will go ahead and apply it for production to users and so on enable tax for, tra for transaction control whether this tax is available for transaction this selecting this option trigger integrity checks to validate that if selected this tax is used by transaction if applicable if not selected then this tax is not proceed as an
applicable again maybe I have defined a lot of tags but by the end I didn't enable these tags these tags means that I give or I take the approval that this tax is ready for using so once I complete all of the setups of tax I come here and enable tax for transactions without enable this tax because a lot of issues came from this point I completed the setup blah 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 but I uh, when the user try to create a transaction there is no tax calculating please ensure two things ensure the start date the start date to make a comparison between the start date of your setup tax and the start date or the dates of the transactions maybe the date of the transaction before the date of your start date of your setup tax and also enable or ensure that enable tax for transaction is enabled this will be a bear once you complete all of the setups you can again come to create tax and enable and enable if you are going to simulation what about tax confirmation again what is the geography you have to select either country because in regime we select country here you have to select country what is the tax currency the same what is the minimal the same precision the same conversion everything the same rounding compounding if you have authority and here as you see applied amount handling that prorated or whatever control the weather tax is recalculated or prorated on example on prepayment with the default being recalculated controls or capable fusion functionalities and how payment to trigger recalculation or prorating of tax amount is it prorating or recalculating set as offset tax define this tax as an offset or not this tax because once you define it as tax selecting this option disables the control region and the tax exceptions and exemption control regions and clears any values that were entered in this region if I select you will find some areas is hidden if again unselect you will find a lot of applications or as you see here use self-assessment instead of defining offset tax this is also self-assessment or reverse charge mechanism we will talk about it here uh, in the next video inshallah again set tax for reporting purposes only define whether this tax is set up for reporting purposes control whether this tax is used for reporting only doesn't create any tax account entries again in some business cases the stakeholders or whatever told you I am going to create a tax for reporting only without create any tax account entries there is no account affecting in my transactions in this case you have to check this select tax for reporting purpose only like for example if you remember budget non, non or track this is the same I just create a budget with the values but it's a track without any uh, control so again this also can be reporting tax only control and default tab as you see here that tax point basis so specify that event that the basis of tax recovery or liability this event also the basis of which tax is considered for reporting use this option in conjunction with the option on the first party tax registration tax how oh, as you see here select the events at the basis for tax levy and reporting to tax authorities this used when no value is defined for tax registration or tax rate so what is the tax point accounting invoice payment blah 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 here we select none uh, inclusion because uh, our regime with non inclusion so it will be here allow of here allow override of entry inclusive yes or no allow tax rounding override you have still option to edit and allow or not allow allow override of calculated tax lines if user make any changes so it will be allowed to override of calculating or not 
a low entry of manual tax lines these options in some cases you need to make tax invoice only for example I make invoice by mistake I didn't calculate tax for this invoice but the actual invoice which I received from the suppliers it must calculate tax so in this case I can make a new invoice but this new invoice with tax only so here allow entry of manual tax lines or not user legal registration number we talked about it allow duplicate here duplicate registration number for suppliers because our parties in general allow creation of multiple again using use this with the holding tax calculation or not we already make before full video for withholding tax tax control tax account creation method for this tax calculation or creation methods that control whether the tax account used for this tax are derived from setup associated with this tax or copied from another tax defined by the tax account source field so when the value is create tax account create tax account for this tax when the value will use tax account from existing tax enter the tax account source to be used at a transaction time for example if I here it will ask you what is the tax account source if you select it will use or create tax account for this tax for tax source you just define the tax used to define the tax account to use at transaction time allow tax exceptions control whether tax exceptions are allowed or not use tax exception from existing tax or not allow tax exemptions also used in conjunction use with the use tax exceptions from existing tax options and use tax exceptions already created for customers for this tax what about tax exceptions if you enabled what is the tax exception source if you select this you have to select it if not halas registration number again what's the there is validation validation blah 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 and tax recovery are you going to allow tax recovery or not tax recovery is that control whether this tax handles tax recovery if this option is selected you can set up tax recovery for this tax again in some cases or in general there are a lot of taxes non recovery on recovery allow tax recovery here it will give you the option to set up tax recovery for this tax as a tax rates again if we go to current setup for example here again as you see what is the tax regime code what is the configuration tax name code type as a vat blah 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 what is the start date the same started of our regime tax simulation transactions because he defined all of the setups from regime to rules once he completed all of these setups he come again to the tax and enabled it for transactions or simulation what is the country he select country because in regime he select country again he country what is the country what is the ta tax currency the same whatever he put it in regime he again come put it here what about general and default again what is the option allow again if you can edit you can disable enable whatever the option you want allow tax exception recovery recovery rate override standard allow tax exemptions exceptions all of this what is the tax rule default as you see here place of supply ship 2 use bill 2 if ship 2 is not found place of supply as you know that for suppliers she Bill to uh, ship to bill to whatever for uh, for customers bill from uh, ship from blah 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 uh, tax applicability once he defined for all of these setups in tax rules again he came found it here what about tax account there is no tax account because he defined rate and thus send his tax account here tax reporting code there is nothing jurisdiction he defines the tax jurisdiction now we completed tax regime and the taxes next step is jurisdictions 
so I will go to tax restrictions non majoris indiction again you can set up Again, tax jurisdictions is for geographical region or tax zone, whether or where a specific tax authority levies a tax. Tax jurisdiction specifies the association between a tax and the geographical location. You also use tax jurisdiction to define jurisdictions based tax rate. Tax jurisdiction tax rate is rate that is distinct to a specific geographic region or tax zone for a specific tax. For example, for US sales and you use tax create country jurisdiction for every country in the parent geography type of state and in the parent geography names of California for the UK create a tax jurisdiction for the country of United Kingdom. For US, you have a lot of states so you have to create country jurisdiction for every country into the parent geography type of a state but for example for one country like UAE, India, UK, whatever you can define only tax jurisdiction for the country as a whole again here in case of this I can go to our defined one as you see here that what is the tax jurisdiction code? What is the name? What is the tax regime? You have to select tax regime you defined before and the tax. Again, geography. Presidency level, I think this is by default, is 300. What is again tax reporting and authority? And the start date. Again, start date is equal the tax regime or before or sorry, after. Either equal or after the date of tax regime. What is the reg reg registration number? There is no any validations. It will be as a default jurisdiction or not because before we said that we can define a lot of jurisdiction. In which cases? In which case, for example, US, there are a lot of states, or India, there are a lot of states, you can define a lot of jurisdiction. But by the end, you have to define one as a default. So here it's selected as a one as a default and with this default what is the default start date will be the same start date of jurisdictions which is equal equal tax regime and the tax set. These rates and the account and blah 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 will be appear here once we defined the tax rate. This is the tax jurisdiction is just to assign your tax regime code and tax code and whatever you put it there you can put here. If you have a lot of jurisdictions for a lot of states, a lot of whatever in your country, you can define a lot of there. So what next? Tax states. So again, I will come here. Yes. Done. Tax status. manage tax statuses again create this tax status that you need you have to set up the tax statuses that you need for each tax that you create for a combination of tax regime tax and the configuration or tax status is a taxable nature of a product in the context of transaction and the specific tax on the transaction for example, again, for US sales and use tax create tax status for a standard and the exempt. For the UK, for example, set up separate tax status for a standard, zero, exempt, and the reduced rates. This is the tax status. Again, what is the tax regime? What is the configuration? What is the tax? What is the name? Code? What is the start date? It will be a default or not because maybe in as we said before for UK we maybe we have tax status for a standard another one for zero another for of third one for exempt and another for reduced rate so in this case you will define a lot of status but by the end you have at least one default tax status again what is the exemption exceptions allow rate overrides or not. Are you going to uh, t uh, define tax reporting codes? Yes, you have to add it here 
text reporting good data type and type code and the code and description and the effective start date again start date here must be equal equal the start date of regime and tax this is a tax status there is nothing more what is next tax rate in tax rate we have two part recovery non recovery so i will select done tax again if you see the the setup or the function name manage tax rate and the tax recovery rate tax rate as a non recovery recovery rate so again you shall get in general that setup tax rate for your tax statuses and the tax jurisdictions for tax statuses set up tax rate record for each applicable tax rate that a tax status identifies for example or for tax jurisdiction set up a tax rate record to identify the tax rate variations for a specific tax within different tax jurisdictions tax rates because by the end our transactions or whatever or either our tax rules will be depend on the tax rates because maybe in your country you have a lot of tax rates either recovery or non-recovery and depends on these tax rates you can create a specific rules depends on the factor of the rate which we will know about more about this in the next video inshallah so and also you will give the users the availability to select which rate he must select in these transactions if it's manual transaction because as you know if it's come from matching or third party it will be imported by the same tax rates which is calculated on these for example uh, purchase requisition purchase order blah 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 so again you have defined a lot of tax rates by the end you have also to select a specific default rate and also from time to time you can come here to disable enable disable enable and so on for example i will go to search it will ask me equal uh, we have only one tax search you will find we have a lot of tax rate there is no limitations here you have defined whatever you want for example if i have select one of these as input recoverable what is the tax regime configuration owner VAT, tax status you, you 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 notice here that whatever you define tax regime tax status jurisdiction uh, tax you will come here and select it and also which configuration owner tax regime tax status blah 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 here it will ask you what is the percentage or rate percentage is it five is it ten is it blah 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 and what is the effective start date and here as i told you you have to select one rate as a default rate this default rate will be a default for all of the transactions in the applications start end date and the end date whatever as if you in case of you need to disable enable up to you and here what is the default recovery rate is a standard recovery and recovery type is a standard because here is input recoverable so this means how to know that this rate is recoverable or not recoverable just default recovery rate code is standard recovery and here is standard for tax inclusion methods are you going allowed to override of entry the exemption exceptions here adjustment ad hoc tax amount as you know that ad hoc tax rate or whatever tax point basis it is invoice because maybe you select accounting you select payment so during make invoice there is no tax will be calculated only in payment or only accounting once you make accounting the tax point will be uh, alert there blah 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 offset there is no offset because this is recovered so this is one of them as we selected the name everything and we select this is as recover top where is the percentage here this is the percentage of five of 100 percent so five multiply 100 percent it will be calculated like this if i click done 
again I select another for example zero rate it will be zero again everything is here and the same date because if it's zero there is no only we have only one default rate if I select uh, non recoverable here for recoverable you say select standard recovery for non recoverable you select standard non recovery and here recovery standards for both but how to know or how to distinguish between recovery and the non recovery as I told you default recovery rate code one is recovery one is non recovery and again what is the percentage because we defined one before the same percentage but recoverable here the same percentage five also but non recover the other is default here not default but the start date is a common for all of our rates this is how to define your rates you can uh, change uh, the default uh, rate you can enable you can disable you have a lot of options here for rates before i ending i just need to talk about tax account tax account for example if i select let me try here tax account as you see here define tax account or tax tax rate and the tax jurisdiction so you have three level to define tax account tax tax rate tax jurisdiction what is the tax account we have tax expense we have in term tax we have tax recoverable and the tax liability what is tax expense tax expense a payable tax account that record the tax amount from invoice distributions or a receivable tax account that record net changes be generated by adjustments earned and unearned discounts and finance charge Receivable activities such as discount and adjustments reduce the receivable amount and are therefore considered an expense. This occurs only if the adjustment type has tax handling. What about tax recoverable account? An account that records tax recovery amount. If you set up recovery rates for a tax that you also intend to self-assist, then you have to define tax recovery account for the associated recovery rate what about tax liability account is a record tax liability amount if you intend to use different accounts for tax recovery and the liability then set up the recovery account for the tax recovery rate this account is used to debit the recoverable tax amount while the tax or the account on the tax rate is used to account for tax liability in term tax account that record in term tax recovery or liability before the actual recovery or liability arises on a payment of an invoice you must set up an interim tax account for taxes and tax rate that have tax point basis set as payment this only for if you remember tax calculation or tax point basis we have accounting invoice payment blah 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 in case of you are going to in use interim tax so you have to select tax point basis set as payment no invoice no account no other things now there is one question as an interview question if we define the tax account for tax or at level tax another level for tax rate a third level for tax jurisdiction where is the presidents of this if you define the tax rate or tax account for tax and you define again tax another or a different tax account for tax rate the tax rate will be president number one again if you define tax and you assign their tax account or tax recoverable is X and you define the rate and you define tax recoverable is why when you make a transactions which tax account will be raised the tax account which you are assigned to tax rate there are some other accounts like finance charge tax liability non recoverable tax account expense and revenue account as you see here 
finance tax or charge and non-recoverable and whatever which is non-recoverable if you select non-recoverable let me select one this is recoverable done I will select our non-recoverable tax account this non-recoverable okay for finance charge tax liability an account that records tax amount on finance charges that are used as a deduction against overall tax liability non-recoverable tax account accounts that record tax amount on earned and unearned discount and adjustments that you cannot claim as a deduction against tax liability expense and revenue account accounts that record net changes generated by again adjustment earned and unearned discounts this is just tax account so if you face the same in tax and tax transactions, you also still have a third level as a rate to assign your tax account. Again, it's also maybe you have a lot of rates with a different accounts. This is up to your requirement or whatever decisions you take. I hope now to cover whatever we promised you tax regime taxes rejection tax status tax rate next video inshallah I will talk about tax rule reverse charge mechanism advanced we can also talk about simulation we can take yani it will be a special video or a special cases but before I start to talk about this I yeah, at least I have give you as a overview or a vision or a vision to what is a tax regime, taxes and transaction, blah blah blah. So when I go going to make the second part or the second video, you will be aware if w if I talk about tax regime, tax status, tax rates, it will be easy for you to get more information. Thanks for watching.